Okay, morning guys. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning and we are about to embark on our marlin, marlin fishing adventure slash tuna. We're all really tuna, but we might have a go for a marlin. It uh, was still last night. From the last trip when it was about 20,000 knots, last night was pretty still and the birds weren't going crazy like normal. They started up this morning, but usually they keep us awake all night. Cohen recommended leaving the door open, but uh, Captain Mark over trumped him and decided to keep the door shut, so I overheated and got up and opened the door. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, we got to head out now and go for a tuna and run a marlin lure out the back. Savage has kindly made us a nice coffee this morning since their luxury uh, 770 Senator has. Uh, and they've got porridge for their breakfast, I've just been told. We're going to have bacon and eggs, but we'll have a porridge. And blueberries. We could troll like this, side to side. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're nearly ready to go. Just waiting on the Savages to uh, rig up their gear. And we're going to go for a troll. Hopefully that swell's gone from yesterday, because uh, it took three hours to get up here, like we said. And we took a pounding, it was torturous. We're untying now, we go. Get off me. Oh. Worse out there or better? Come on. Worse. Worse. <laughs> worse. You think worse? Yeah. Great. More than yesterday. Yeah, on the way up. Oh, nah. It'd be better. A little bit better. How'd you sleep, alright? Okay, so we started trolling. Uh, we're trolling in sync with Vaughn and Stan over there, just to get a better spread out and maybe try and bring fish in. Uh, we've currently got seven lures out the back. We've got a couple this side. We've got a big marlin lure, a shotgun right out the back. We've got another lure in close here and another two out wide there. And uh, we're currently outside Gravel Harbour, heading back towards Nelson now. Uh, the water temperature is what, Cohen? 20.3, so it's actually still quite cold. Uh, but hopefully we'll hook it to some tuna, because that would be awesome to get a few anyway. But fingers crossed, next time we start the camera, there might be some action. Took a bait, bro. Yeah. We'll take him. We just got a double hook up, a double hook up, we don't know what we got yet. Oh, there's tuna. Yeah! Woo! Is that what's still on? Oh, Albie. Yeah! Oh, 
In dark green water and we're trolling which it didn't really realize because of low light and we thought oh we'll pick up and come out um to blue water so we got right on the edge of the green and blue the water temperature came up started trolling and literally must have been about five minutes of trolling when we got a hook up a double are they, those guys are stopped are they hooked up Awesome on the jet black magic jet set again. Awesome fish. We're stoked. So good to catch them. These are just a ghost tuna in Nelson, but wicked. That's what we got after. Hey. You there guys? Yeah, copy. Yeah, that was a double tuna hookup. Yeah. Oh, we do well. About seven knots. Well, they're going slower. I think they're a little bit slower. Keep the speed. Maybe faster. Yep, yep. Woo. Oh, no, the surface one. Let's go too. Let's double. No, I'll, I'll hook that one. I got them all now. Cross that line. Oh. Whatever this is. I kind of think it might be a tuna now, dude. Yeah, but it'll get that. Do you want to turn us back the other way, Coey? What, where? Just turn us back round to hit that way, go round right, right. and we'll start trolling back that way. You know what, Cohen? Yeah. It's the same lures, those pink ones. Oh, really? Every time, man. Hey, guys, so we just managed to get to Albacore, a double hookup, and a a very midget skipjack. Okay guys, my camera keeps stopping. It's uh, had overuse, I think. Uh, I don't know what I just said, but we got one skipjack, two albacore. The albacore were a double hookup. The little skippy hit on the surface and uh, basically smashed all our lines together. So that was a bit of a nightmare, but we dragged him in. He might be good groper bait, but we're kind of deciding whether we will use it for groper bait. But to get a big groper, it might be worth it. Uh, Vaughan and Suzanne haven't had any luck yet, uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, the lures we're using, again, it's that pilchard flavoured Black Magic Pilchard Jet Set. That's what we're getting all the tuna on, that's what we've got them all on the last three weeks actually. The little Jet Set. They're a great lure and I don't know why. Maybe it's what they're feeding on in the bay. But go and buy yourself a Black Magic Pilchard Jet Set. We're going to carry on trawling, probably for quite a while actually, because it's quite cool doing this and make the most of it while the tuna are in the bay. Hopefully we'll get a few more. I see that. 
How do we not hook up there? Okay, we just saw tuna about five meters away from the boat jumping. And I'm surprised we haven't hooked up from that. That was a smashing bait out the water. We almost want to be right on the edge now of that blue and that green. Copy, 
teeth and what's going on with that, isn't it? I can tell you. There we go, that's a good fish. Oh, gee, oh man, look at that. It's a little hard to hold. Pretty wrapped with that. He's a he's a bit of size, eh? Please, but took some line. Right, let's bleed him and put him in the well and carry on. That spread seems to be working pretty good. In the background, old Vaughn's hooked up. That's awesome. Oh, they got a double hooker. This ends in as well. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, that's wicked. They'll be absolutely wrapped with that. Two of the bastards here, man. I know. Two of them. Get them off. Oh, I got them. Yep, 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 yep. Right, we just hooked up. We had a couple of actual, um, a couple of smacked the lures actually, but they wouldn't hook up. He's a monster. The old black magic jet set again. I tell you, that lure's got 90% of our fish. Seriously. It's a big one. Okay, so we just got another albacore. Look at that. On the Black Magic Jet Set again. That lure is amazing. The little Black Magic Jet Set. Hold it, Caro, hold it. <laughs> oh, no, it's leaving my grip. Right, you're right. Put it down. That's a good fish. Maybe. See that? Look at that, we're just going showing this, look at, turn it that way, fins turn that way, turn it this way, the fins turn that way. Holy, I'm trying to guide himself. That's a, an exciting uh, fact. The old black magic jet set. Once again, that lure is All spectacular. Day. All day. Right, so there you go. Before. That's an awesome one. Took some line. Oh, look at him. Great fish. Super happy. It's been a pretty good day trolling actually. Two hookups and that. More than that, I think just got a double hookup, so that's pretty cool. We've got an old mate behind us, he just uh, hooked up as well. So there's plenty of tuna out here. <laughs> Come on, tuna! Come on, big tuna! Yellow fin, mate. Yellow fin. That's what we want to get. You know what I mean? Oh, look at them! Oh, wicked! 
Oh wow! Surely we're gonna get hit after that. Oh wicked. Turn, put your left, right hand down. Just slightly. Oh look at them. What do you want me to do, Co? Uh, right? Are you right on that angle? Uh, you go, 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 Looks like another Albi, and that's on the Jet Set Lumo, is it? Mackerel. The Black Magic Jet Set Mackerel. Oh, there's another one there. Is it? Yep. Wonder how we catch him. <laughs> <laughs> they said it brings yeah. them up. Oh, look at that. There's two. I'll see if I can cast it out. Oh. He's on it. He's on it. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at this eye. We're coming. Go in the sun. Yep. Oh. Yeah, face on the side. Yeah, we're on again. Straight away. Straight away. Go, Cully. Go. is a what cacker Uh We're done with the tuna for the today, and we're gonna go uh, target some groper now. So we're gonna head out the top and see what it's like and have a go for a groper. That was pretty awesome fishing. It's pretty hard out. Vaughan and Suzanne got some good ones. They got some uh, nice big uh, tuna. I'm talking to the camera. Yeah, so we're just having a tidy up now, de-luring, and we're going to go groper fishing. Right, so we're going to get our puka bait ready. So we've got this cooter, we caught that before trolling. Don't throw your cooter out because they're great puka bait. So I'm just going to fill up this guy. All the way through.
doesn't matter if you do a nice fillet or what fill it through here and then over there I'm going to come down and go through and leave all that gut cavity then you've got a bait here then what you do is run it down that lateral line and there's one bait there good size and then that one there Put them on ice and then I'm going to, to chop out that whole gut belly or belly with all the guts in that and that there one hook through that is a good hooker bait as well then discard your frame we're out grove ring uh, we were just about to move actually and uh, Koei has hooked up. I'm not actually sure what's going on. Had the bottom, it took him into the bottom anyway, so he might have a grover, I'm not sure. We'll see how it plays out. 97 to go. Does it feel good? Oh yeah. Feels quite weighty. 85. <laughs> What do you know when it's 30 to go, eh? Nah, before that. 50. It might actually be a groper. What are we at? I don't know, because it's not it's not really fighting. It's had a couple of fights and then it's um just cruising, so I'm not sure. Here it is. Oh yeah, holy shit. Oh wow. <laughs> Check that out. Wicked. Yeah. Oh, shot that. Good job, mate. Well, they're still out here. Yeah. It's a bit tidal. But we'll just we'll go up further on the drift and come through. No sign there though. No sign. Look at Coe just. What are your thoughts on that, Cohen? Uh, bloody awesome. Is that the new reel? Yeah. First, first fish with it. Four thousand plays and bait. Uh, barracuda. Fresh barracuda. Fresh. Got to use Barry A. Barry's bloody good bait. Oh, yeah. Good shit, dude. It's awesome. Hey. A lot dropped them. Yeah. I've just got something hitting mine. Look, look at that. Okay, we are currently on a double hookup. And uh, I don't know, I might have Cohen, he might have me. I've lost whatever I had. Not very exciting. Ah, uh, that's Cohen. Got a school shark. He's 
still on? Still on. It's a monster, absolute monster. But we'll get rid of this guy and we'll carry on. We just had tuna out right out behind us jumping, but uh, the electric's just hooked up to something. Uh, burning suspicion, another shark. Uh, we got that one good groper, Colin got that one monster, and uh, that's pretty much enough for us anyway, so we kind of just went to a new spot and drifting around, not really worried if we get any more groper, but we're just sort of potting around. Came out wide and there's some um, albacore tuna jumping about a metre out of the water. And uh, 118 metres and the reel is stalling. So it's a good shark I think by the looks of the head nods on it, a good shark. Are you stalling it? It's a good shark alright. in like two minutes. I bet both of these are like, they are the pilchard. Really? Um, that's a big one too. What do you want me to do? I don't know, just keep coming. You have to. Just got a double hook up. Me and Cohen and these guys were an awesome battle. Check them out. That is two very big albacore tuna. I'm awesome. thinking maybe eight to ten kilo, but they were a great fight. We're pretty racked about that. Those guys were awesome. We tear shaped though. 
we got it all tangled up and how we landed them, I'm very surprised. Uh, Vaughn's just pulled over, I think they might be hooked up as well. We'll bleed these guys and carry on. Well, he's great too. Yep, yep, double. Yeah, yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, uh, we just had two double hookups. The first hookup was two real big albacore. They were probably around eight to 10 kilo. Then we just had another double hookup on about five, five kilo fish. Uh, and both of them, again, are caught on the jet set. That pilchard black magic jet set. That has caught 99% of the tuna we've caught in the last three trips. So if you're after albacore, I'd 110% get those things, they are amazing. Is he a little skippy? Does he? Yeah. Oh, let's do. I'll see if... You can release him? Oh. Well, he's nicely hooked. Eh? Hey? Nicely hooked for it. Nice. Catch and release. Good stuff. Good work, Mark. I wish this would just start. Just record camera. Is he smoking line? Wow. <laughs> this is the most insane tuna fishing in history. Okay guys, uh, we're calling it quits for the day trolling. We've got heaps of albacores, a couple of skipjacks, and uh, we're gonna call it quits for the day. So we're pulling the lures and we're gonna go to the mooring site. 
or mooring, or do you want to do some stick baiting? Or maybe a couple of casts. Okay, we're going to do some stick baiting, uh, and then go to the mooring site. Let's just go. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. My casting to? I'm just casting right inside here. What? Right now? Nah, wait till up for the night we have had one of probably the best fishing days I've had we don't often get tuna so the tuna fishing for us is um, a wicked thing I know up, up north in New Zealand albacore uh, are bait fish and I don't think I think they use it for marlin art I mean we don't really know but down here in Tasman Bay we don't catch them for three or four years we've been targeting them and to get some in such prolific numbers today has been awesome. Um, Vaughan and Suzanne smashed them as well. Uh, we're parked up for Saturday night. It's Vaughan's birthday. 21 again. 21 again. We're going to fill it all the tuna and uh, chill out and cook them up. You guys haven't had tuna, have you? Nope. Alright, this will be a first. Uh, Cohen with me, you haven't had a day. No. So we're going to sear up and I'm going to teach him how to cook tuna, fillet tuna, and we're going to eat some tuna. Do you enjoy it today, Vaughn? Yeah, mate, I'm awesome. Because we, we, we were kind of talking early on, because um, Vaughn's pretty much, very much a groper fisherman. He loves his groper, which we all do. Groper fishing is pretty cool. Um, we started heading out and I was like, oh, dude, the blue water's quite a long way away. Um, do you want to do it? And he was like, oh yeah, we'll try something different. Anyway, we, we got out and we started smashing it. And then at the end of the day today, we're out groper fishing and the tuna were working behind us, in front of us. We started trolling um, and within five minutes, me and Colin had a double hookup and Radio Vaughan, he's like, you mother uckers. And then five minutes later, they had a double hookup. But we'll, we'll carry on trying to catch them because it doesn't happen often. And this year's been exceptionally warm with uh, all the sort of weather patterns and that. We've had some biblical storms and all sorts, but we're going to fill it some fish and drink a few brews. Just one or two. One or two. One or two. Nothing too serious. And tomorrow morning, me and Colin are going to leave pretty early, do some sick baiting and then troll the way home. And what are you guys up to? Yeah, we'll be following soon. Yeah, so same thing. Or maybe a snapper in the morning. We'll see whatever. Cohen's morning in the morning, so we'll see what he wants to do.
snapper off. What are we doing? Snapper or kingfish. If there's snapper salt, I'm not going to snap it. If there's nothing, I'm going to snap it. That's the plan. Colin's the chief skipper plan. We had a good night last night. Slept pretty well. It's calm this morning out there. I wonder if there's going to be a swell. Should be less than yesterday. It was pretty shitty by the end of the night, eh? But there was still no wind. And we're going to trawl our way home quite early, actually. How long are you going to fish for? What's the time, Kay? 7.30. 7 are you going to give it to, what, 8.30 8 or something? Yeah. 8.30 an hour? Yeah. Oh, I will. We'll do the same around, around there as well. We're making our way back out. So let's go on to do that. Yeah, why not, mate? Yeah, my aerials have been switched over, eh? So we got a, um, we just hooked up a skippy before, a little skippy, we let him go, he took off, and we're putting a little straight out, as you'll see from the deck cam, we got one lure out and got a hit straight away. So we're now back into tuna, and this guy, I don't know if my drag's loose, but this is probably one of the better fights I've had yet. Literally got no line on him. trolling and for some reason in the middle of Tasman Bay we've got biblical flies there is flies literally everywhere in this boat and we just can't seem to get rid of them So we just hooked up a couple of good uh, skipjack tuners and uh, we released both of them. Uh, we're just trolling our way back to Nelson now, but it's probably going to be about the end of the trip actually. We've had a pretty epic trip, catching heaps of tuna. Colin Broken has really got that massive groper, but we are calling it uh, quits. Thanks for watching the vlog and we'll see you next time.